we've got the uh, Laboratory Society up the road here, I think that's who it is. You can see, I don't know if you can see them cars just up here somewhere up there. Hey. It's, uh, there we go, beautiful day. Here we are down Loon River. I'm just about to dig out this nice big chunk of fern here that I've just uh, been digging towards in the gravel. You can see there, I've sort of dug that deep. I've got Paul over here, he's gonna do me an awesome favor and hold the camera so I can uh, dig this out. So uh, see if we can sort of get it so you can see the rock as I'm getting it out. Oh, she's digging. Okay, give me a second. I've got my back to you at the moment, but Oh. oh yeah, this is a good spot. Alrighty, so she's about to come out. Oh, oh bloody hell. Here we go, have a look from that side. You can see it now, it's getting bigger. Yeah. Oh wow. I think this is a really big bit of fern, dude. See all the little chunks that are flying out near it. Yeah, I was going to say take a seat in there, mate. You can see all the little chunky bits of fern falling out around it, but that's the piece we want, so... Oh, very rare to have a cameraman, you know? <laughs> I never ever get to have a cameraman when I'm digging. Uh, <laughs> You've got to pay him too much. Yeah. This, it, Paul's freelance, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, we're just trying to get in... Oh, look at that! She's going to be a big one! This might be my biggest bit of fern ever, mate. If it's uh, as big as... Oh, it goes right down there, too. So look at that. Oh, I can barely move it. Alrighty. We're going right. around here. We should be right to be able to prise this out, I think. There's a lot of material around it, too. Here we go. Oh, man, this is big. This is big. Yeah, very good. Oh, damn. Here we go, and dig out a bit more. What the hell? This is hard yakka. Just for one bit of fern. Hopefully it uh, turns out to be really, really huge. There we go, she's going, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. So there we go. You can't really see it properly, but that is Loon River. Charming, right? <laughs> That is Loon River petrified fern. And a freaking massive piece at that. Okay, well that's the piece for my trip, I tell you now. Definitely makes me very bloody happy. What do you reckon, Paul? Well done, mate. Good well keeper, done. mate. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, so we look in the bucket here. So that was a bloody good one. I reckon there's gonna be more around that too, dude. So you can see here the gravel that's coming out around, it's actually getting bigger. Yeah. Look at that, man. It's a nice, nice piece though, isn't it? Oh, mate, look at the eyes in it, everywhere. Look at it. Happy camper for oh, sure, mate. well done. As I said, they're here, mate. I did tell you, didn't I? They are here. <laughs> they are here. Oh, mate. It's just perseverance, like I tell everybody. Just keep digging. Keep looking. But as you can see, it's not alone. I've got a few other nice little pieces here. Where's the piece that I've got before? Where is it? Oh, there's another big chunk. And I got... Oh, here we go. There's the showstopper. That's yeah, the best one I've got so far today. Beautiful. Red, it's got the cool, beautiful Amigas, and a nice shape to be able to cut and polish. There we go. She's working out all right today. I was going to piss off early today, and I sort of uh, changed That's my mind. Cool. Is it? It's a cool one. Well, look at it. Yes. Oh, you it's can sort of see, you see the bits of it there. Oh yeah, you can. You can see it running down yeah. there. There you go. It might have a core piece on that. Bloody excellent. But anyway, I reckon. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's my piece for the for the day, and that's going to be uh, me heading back. And by the looks of things, the rain's about to start to come down. But the Laboratory Society will be in here tomorrow, so there's no reason why every other person in the Laboratory Society can't find pieces like that because they have all come from here. So. Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah, and this man here is getting inside information, so he's going to be a few <laughs> steps ahead of him. A few steps ahead of the game. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. Fucking beautiful petrified fern. Well done, 
and hopefully the YouTubers will be happy. <laughs> There's the cool, cool. Like Lapidary Society there. You're all up there. I'm exploring up there, most of them know who I am. So I'm surprised they're not all hidden down here. But yeah, beautiful day still. <coughs> there we are, there's a little printer track. Where I'm going's sort of halfway between me and them. So, yeah. Hey, here I am again in my dig. It's uh, straight away back onto fern material. Glad I managed to get back down here today, as you can see. The gravel has become quite thick in here. So, this is that. Big material in there everywhere. But just on a different note. How yeah, pretty this is. How cool is that? Must be a horse moving in the garden. <laughs> Beautiful. And again, this whole forest is pretty beautiful. Uh, everything's wet. <laughs> anyway, let me get down into here and see what more fern I can find. Alrighty. I'll All right. To it. So, still in the same hole that's where I was digging before. <sighs> Bit puffed, but I'm about to dig something out from just down here. Just here. There you go, I don't know what it is yet, but oh sorry. So you can feel there, I'm gonna hit that, I feel it vibrating under my legs. And my legs are way back here. So that's a good sign. That means it might be a really big rock. So what I might do, see if I can't get this to sit up here somewhere. There's a stick that isn't rotten. That one. There you go, maybe there, no, maybe there. Oh, pfft. I thought I wanted a stick that wasn't rotten. Okay, hang on, bear with me. Ah, here we go. So how's that? There's the spot. Right there. There, there. Lovely. All right, let's do this. Let's see how we go. So right here is where we're looking. Ah. That's a big one. Come on, be fern, be fern. And fucking bingo. Let's have a look here. Yep, definitely fern. You can't really tell on the camera thing, but if you look in the butt of it there, you can see the, all the Amigas. Awesome. So now there's another big one right near it, just underneath here. So I need to grab my little tomahawk here and that. Oh, there it is there. I think I might be on a really big slab here. And if it is, I might go and have some lunch because it's about 12.31 o'clock or something like that. So, so we've got something big there. Let's go. Let's see what it is. I'm hoping a lovely bit of fern to show you guys. Oh, look at the size of it. Come on, be fern. Be fern, come on, petrified fern. Nice big chunk. I want the core in there as well. Not being greedy or anything, you know. Now, this is always a good sign seeing all this stone coming up a, around a piece because I haven't seen many agates in here, but there's a hell of a lot of little slithers of petrified wood, which I've sort of found. If you're in an area that's got fern and you find these little slithers everywhere, I generally found a bit of fern among it. I don't know if that's a a rule or a guideline or some little hint, I don't know. But it's just something that's a, it's an observation, there you go. It's just a little observation I made over all my little dig sites and everything that I've had over the years. Oh, here we go, another big one there too. Oh, where is it? Oh, right there. Ah, it's not that big. A little bit of mudstone. Come on now, what are you? Oh, the side's huge. Whew. Okay, so it's a pretty big bloody rock. I think after this one, I might go back and... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, hello, mama. That is fern. 
Holy crud. That's a bit, a bit of fun fern. Oh my God. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is one monstrous chunk of petrified fern. I'll chuck a bit of footage in of all these cleaned up, but you can tell because you can see through there. See all the lines and that running through, but I'm sure if I could look at the end here, there'd be an amiga or two showing through. But holy crud. That's what I'm here for. Look at that. That's a beast. It's probably a kilo and a half. Nice. Nice. Now, I did hear another big rock right near it here too. Oh, listen there. Look at that. Oh, I think I might have found a... No wonder I can feel it vibrating under my legs. This might be awesome. Let's just tilt it down a bit more. So just here. Look at that. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. Look at that. Oh, I've got to dig more out. There's another gravel around it. Oh, another big piece there. Wow. This may be my best dig site ever. If this is fern. That's not, but what's coming up next will be. Here we go. Look at this. It's huge. I've actually got two other people that have come down here with digging. My mate Maddie and uh, my mate Dan. Wherever they are, it's beyond me. Oh man, that's huge. Oh, look at that. And it's fern, it's definitely fern. I can tell it a mile away. Left my buddy, went back before. Take a bucket load of rocks back. Left my gloves there. And I'll tell you what, this material, as you can see, is a real pain to dig in if you haven't got gloves. All right, we're getting around it. Hopefully there's more bits. Oh, here it is. Holy crap, this is big. Can't even barely move it. <sighs> it's just taking longer than I thought. But hopefully the result's worth it. Anyway, it's pretty hard to find good fern down in Lynn River area. The place has been hit pretty hard for, oh geez, well over 30 years now, like 40 years or something like that. This is, I think they clear felt it in the 80s and then did a burn off and it's pretty much when everybody came in. Look at that. Holy shivers. I won't, I'll try not to swear in this video. I think I already have. Oh, look at that. Here it is. <gasps> oh my God. Look at that. Look at that big bit of brown shell sitting in there. <gasps> my goodness. Hang on, I can show you the amigas on this one. Holy crap on a cracker, as they say. So, let's have a look at the amigas here. So this is Loon River Fern. Ah, look at that. Should be able to see that there. Hopefully the cameras, <laughs> look at that. You should be able to see that beautifully, the Amigas. But, so, that, whoop, and those, that, two chunks, they might even join together. Oh my God, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't break them, believe it or not. It, it sounded like I did, but I didn't, okay? <laughs> look at that, they joined together. As soon as I clean them, they are gonna lock together. And that's how I know that I didn't break them. So they're, they're that close together, they haven't moved very far, which means, let's just uh, continue this little bit of footage. Oh. Seriously, if I had a happy dance, I'd be doing it right now. That's more. Oh my goodness. Yay. So, I'm going to go back and wash those rocks and maybe take a bit more footage. But holy crap, guys, that is why people come down here. There's people that come down here and they've been coming down here for 20, 30 years and don't find pieces of fern like that. And I'm sure there's many people that could attest to that on the, the Lapidary website and everything, which actually, just so you know, oh, Tasmanian Lapidary Society is actually about 100 metres yeah. that way. 
both of those pieces. So you can clearly see they're definitely fern, 100%. All the Amigas and everything running up through it. It's on the inside there. But here's the interesting part. So that's there. I didn't, these were covered in mud. You can see all the Amigas in this one. Look at that. Amazing. That's awesome. And a big bit of chow said me. I don't even know what to make of that. Look at that. That's crazy. But if you look at this, I noticed something. I was like, huh. Don't tell me. Kajum. Look at that. So they actually joined together. Now I thought I broke them, but the fact that there was heaps of mud in between the layers and everything like that would indicate that I didn't. But that's where I originally discovered the piece. So it's just coincidental. <laughs> that's where the crack is, I'm hoping. No, it was. It had heaps of mud on it in between the layer, so it wasn't me that broke it, but it obviously has been broken in recent decades, probably by the bulldozers that used to drive around here. There you go. Beast. Very happy. 